This is a review of the Ypsilon PST 100 Mark II line stage. It's a valve line stage with transformer attenuators. It's also available without the valve gain as a PST 100 TA. TA stands for transformer attenuator. The PST 100 Mark II weighs 55 pounds. It's 15 and 3 quarter inches wide, 7.1 inches tall, and 16.15 inches deep. In the PST 100 Mark II, the tube gain stage is based upon the Siemens C3G tube. A tube known for its long life and durability. It has six inputs. Five of them are RCA. It has two outputs. One RCA, one balanced. It also has a monitor output that avoids the volume control. I've had the unit in two systems. One an MBL based 101E system and the other the YG Sonia system. Next I'll describe how it sounds. Here we go. The Epsilon PST100 Mark II. It's a striking unit to look at. It has a remote control that's very heavy and beefy. You can hear the switching. We're using it as a full function preamplifier. It has a transformer volume pot coupled with the valve gain stage. It is the flagship unit of Ypsilon. I've had the Ypsilon on a full MBL system compared it against. I use the Ypsilon alias amplifiers and the PST100 Mark II and replace the MBL reference components. The Ypsilon offers a more holographic sound stage than the MBL preamplifier. The MBL preamplifier is a little bit more exact, a little bit more two-dimensional, it's a little bit faster, the Ypsilon is much more magical. I've also compared the Ypsilon to the AudioNet GR2 preamplifier. That's a full function preamplifier from AudioNet Germany. Now the German amplifier preamplifier is a little bit sweeter in sound and has a little bit more depth and further back sound stage. It's, it's as if you took your system and moved it back a ways with the AudioNet. With the Ypsilon it's as if you have a holographic layering starting almost on your lap and going endlessly out as far as the eye can see out of our picture window here. It's an amazing piece. It marries tubes to a transformer controller. It's dead quiet. It's elegant to look at. It runs completely off the remote control. Your volume goes up, your volume goes down here. You can switch it between passive and active, right here. So you can test back and forth. With the current system, the alias amplifier is driving the Sonya with the PST100. I prefer it inactive. I, I have gone back and forth between passive and active. A little bit more gain with active and a little bit more magic. With active. The Ypsilon PST100. It does have a little bit of a signature and that signature is magic. The sound comes again in a holographic fashion in the room but each pocket that the instrument sits in 
has its own little life to it. And that's something I don't get from other line stage preamplifiers. And it indeed sets it above the competition. If you're looking for a reference preamplifier that you can use for a number of years without worry of upgrading, I encourage you to reach out, audition an Epsilon PST100 Mark II, test it in your system, you'll never return it. When used with the alias amplifiers and the Epsilon Phono Stage, the system is perhaps the most magical system I've ever heard. It has a little bit of effervescence in the upper mid-range, gives it that little bit of life, and that's because the heart of the system, the PST100 Mark II, has that flavor to it. Lifeness. It's a lot. If I could best sum it up, it will bring your music to life. Peter Beringer reporting on the Epsilon PST100 Mark II.